Welcome back guys into this new PDF tag express and today I'm going to be showing you in a very easy way how we can actually design some mobile UI using Canva. Whether you are a beginner or a total um, experienced designer, this complete guide will help you create a beautiful functional mobile interfaces that work seamlessly across the devices. So Canva is not just for logos and graphics, it's also a great tool for designing mobile UI layouts with ease. So to get started, you might be wondering why I wanted to use um, the actual Canva. Now Canva is a great choice for mobile UI designs. So Canva is packed with ease you use, tools, pre-made templates that make the design process incredibly fast and intuitive. So here's why you should consider using Canva for your next mobile interface. Now first of all, the ease of use. So we can drag and drop into photos that allows you to design layouts without any prior software like Figma or Adobe XD. The second of all is to have the ready-made templates. We are into the template section where we can see that there's a lot of UI elements and we can use them to design our um, elements of course. So here's the page border modern UI design and I can use this to create of course my new elements into my website. It actually looks really really great. We can add collaboration features and free and affordable stuff. So, to get started, first of all, I'm going to go here into Canva. Create an account, and into the upper side, you can go for UI Design and Canva Templates. Now, here, it's going to be, go for Enter. It's going to be showing us a lot of templates that we can use totally for free. Of course, there are a few that are paid. That's why you have the link to download in the description if you want to try it out. The free version and the paid version for one month totally for free. So, in my case, I'm going to choose one template that I like the most. For example, this one. And you can see this is uh, these are the UI design, the about me, the favorite colors. So right, it actually it actually looks really great. So I can go and customize this template. So my UI should be appearing in here. So now I have access into the editor. So to plan your mobile UI design, uh, it's going to be really important to have a plan for your mobile interface. So a well-structured UI shows the users can easily navigate through app and mobile side. So here are a few things to consider, for example, the navigation structure. So in this case, we already have this navigation structure for a presentation. So I'm going to type uh, control and I'm going to move my mouse like this so I can trigger and check out the elements that I see here. For example, here have the about me section, favorite quotes, fun facts, and much more. So usually this actually doesn't look that bad and you can use them to make sure it actually looks great. Now, uh, make sure your design is intuitive, meaning users can easily find what you're looking for. And designing the home screen layout can be showing you how it actually looks on your first mobile screen, which will be home screening of your applications. And Canva grid systems and alignment tools make it easier to create a cleaning and professional UI. For example, let's say that I select everything here that I have just created, and here I have the template, and I paste this stuff. But if I wanted to organize them, let's go for align elements, and I can align them into the center, for example. Now I have something a little bit really um, different than what was before, but I can focus in space evenly, tidy up, once again space evenly, horizontal, and align elements and to the left side. Now I can of course select the stuff that I want to see or do not want to see. In this case, let's just go here for hello. There we go. And better, right? So uh, the next thing to cover, I'm gonna just center this, is to now focus into the navigation bar of the menu. So we can add a button navigation bar using a simple rectangle. Canvas icons library lets you search for icon like the home dashboard and much more. So here I can just delete this stuff, change to four elements. I have this shape and I have this navigation bar. Now this navigation bar is gonna be really simple, but here what you can do is to add more stuff. For example, the home, tab, menu, and all the shapes though. So take your time to fill this to info so I can select this too and group them and after I group them I now can use this as buttons and lastly we can add buttons and any right elements so to add all this stuff what you want to do of course is to use the call to action buttons for example when I choose the home section 
I can go and look out for a link. And here into the home, I can send it into a specific section of the page and go for done. After I have done this process, I can now look out for uh, play so I can make sure it actually works and it actually looks great. So you can show this and once you want to show your design, of course, is to use an exponent, which in this case, uh, offering the several problems. Now the UI design, you will want to export in a high quality. So if I choose to download this decided use for the Autodesk download, and here I go for PDF the standard. So I choose here to download all my pages. And once I have done this process, I'm going to download. And here I can click into one button to see if this one works. Click on it and automatically send me that. Now I can use all of this PDF information to import this into a UI design and I can share this link and provide some feedback and collaboration with this on in real time. Usually that's how we can actually have when designing a mobile UI. This is going to be really easy, consistent design for the charging, but for making this an actual application, we need an actual new, uh, let's say, app that it reflects this element, for example, Figma and much more. You're going to be using Canva for designing uh, the elements of your UI, not using Canva for the actual UI. So take that in mind. So guys, we have just, just learned how to create this design with the Canva. So if you're building an application, this can be really great tools to make the process quick and intuitive. If you find this story helpful, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with all the relatives and people who want to get started with design tips and tech tutorials. So thank you once again for watching this video, guys. Hopefully, you can all see you next time.